An apartment building in a residential area of Perm has become the object of attention of hundreds of residents of the city. People passing by him now and then point a finger in the direction of one of the windows. It seems that everyone knows exactly where Mikhail Malashev, who recently left the colony, lives. For 23 years he served a sentence for the massacre of a man and a female student, despite the fact that the polygraph showed that there were more than eight taken away in life. From the body parts of his victims, he cooked dumplings and pies, which he sold at the market and distributed to neighbors. Few people imagined that a tragedy would take place in the house on Marshall Rabalka Street in the 128th apartment, about which policemen who have seen a lot so far speak with a shudder. Looking at this gray five-story building in Zakomsk, you will not immediately believe what horrors were happening in one of her apartments in the late 90s, early 2000s. On the first floor of the house in an intelligent family lived a boy Misha. He grew up well-fed, for which he was often bullied at school and bullied, causing physical injuries. This case seriously traumatized the psyche of the student. He became embittered and started playing sports, turning into heavyweight athletes. Another trauma for the boy was the second marriage of his mother and the subsequent birth of his younger sister. Misha did not like that now all the attention goes to the baby, and growing up, Misha began to take out his anger and resentment first on animals, and then on people. Hey, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You have to subscribe to the channel and like it so you don't miss new videos. Once in the yard he deprived a neighbor's cat of its tail. When the tenants went to their parents to sort things out, the boy's mother told them from the threshold, well, just think, the bear is angry at his father, so he decided to thwart evil on this creature. His mother always stood up for him, dealing severely with the offenders. He finished eight grades with unsatisfactory behavior. In three years, Mikhail changed three schools, did not go to work, and they did not take him anywhere. Over time, his behavior has not changed. Since 1990, for such actions on animals, he was registered with the Juvenile Affairs Inspectorate. He confessed to the district police officer that he had eaten animal meat. But the law enforcement officer did not attach any importance to this, considering the criminal stories to be boyish fantasies. But in vain. Attics and basements have become Misha's favorite places of leisure. He dreamed of working at a meat processing plant, where, as he believed, he could eat his fill. His family did not spoil him with delicacies, although alcohol was found in abundance. Malashev's independent life went awry. He was interrupted by casual earnings, he was visited by frequent guests, men with traces of an eternal hangover and battered ladies. The apartment turned into a passageway, where one dump replaced another. And then one day an idea occurred to him. Why buy groceries when the food itself comes to your home for free? For several years, Mikhail took the life and ate two people, as well as hundreds of cats and dogs. He kept a young student in slavery for six months, mocking her in the most perverse way, and fed his friend soup and dumplings from the extracted meat. A year after the mysterious deprivation of the girl's life, operatives found body parts of a man in the river. Then a man who lived near the river was suspected of this crime. The version about a mentally abnormal person who eats human meat was confirmed, since many parts were missing. Later, the maniac began to make a living by selling dog skins on a hat. One day the criminal met a student in a. One day he invited her to his house, from where he never let her out again. The maniac made her a slave. Mikhail mocked his captive in every possible way. He used her as his sexual pleasures, bit off the tips of her ears and nose to intimidate her. After she was released, Inna said that the maniac wanted her to give birth to his child, whom he also wanted to make a slave. After a while, Mikhail got tired of Inna, and he forced her to bring a new victim. She brought another student to his house. A day later, two drinking buddies came to Malashev, one of them was a policeman. The three of them took advantage of the abducted student, after which Mikhail deprived her of her life, butchered her and used her later for food, and threw the remaining remains into the Kama River. The maniac made meat pies and dumplings, which he later sold and treated his friends. As the criminal's acquaintances said, the meat was no different from beef, and they did not suspect anything. 
Some body parts later surfaced in the river. A man who lived nearby was detained and confessed that it was he who took the girl's life. Later, the man said that he was forced to confess by threats, as it was necessary to calm the public. A year after the first massacre, his drinking companion came to Mikhail, who began to argue and swear with the owner of the house, as a result of which Malashev deprived him of his life, ate, and later threw the spoiled meat into the river. The maniac was known in Perm as an alcoholic. After the remains were found, law enforcement officers went to the nearest apartments and reached Mikhail's door. When the investigators started talking to Inna, she told the whole truth. More than 500 kilograms of dog meat were found in the executioner's house, as well as the remains of two people. When the operatives just entered Malashev's apartment, they saw two large refrigerators completely stuffed with meat. At that time, it was difficult to understand whether it was human or canine. During the investigation of his deeds, more and more terrible details were revealed. Malashev said that since his youth, trying to build up muscles, he ate stray dogs to save on protein food. For two massacres of a student and a man, he was sentenced to 23 years in a strict regime colony, with which all residents of the city did not agree. Mikhail Malashev was serving a sentence of VC-10 in the city of Chusavoy. He was getting paid and holding on to his job. As the source recalls, the perm maniac was not an authority in the colony. He kept to the side and tried not to attract attention to himself. But at the same time, the man was not poisoned by other prisoners. Malashev's place was on the lower shelf, no one lived next to him, says one of the inmates. His bed linen was constantly dirty, almost black. No matter how hard he tried to keep it clean, he couldn't. When the colony staff scolded Malashev for the mess in the sleeping place, he roared, he kept magazines and books under the mattress and said he was reading them. The spoiled one ate the food, put it on the battery, did not touch it until it turned sour. When he was scolded for this, he cried again. On October 28, 2022, Mikhail Malashev returned to his native home, having served from bell to bell. Now he is 56 years old, but he is still alive and full of strength, only slightly limping. According to media reports, the maniac was supposed to be released on October 30th. Polygraph tests showed that Malashev probably had not two, but eight reprisals on his account, they simply could not find their remains. According to the law, we have no punishment for cannibalism. This does not even aggravate the responsibility, but the fact that Misha ate human meat according to the principle, they say, why should good disappear, still terrifies the Permians, the neighbors in the house where this terrible man lived. At the investigation, Mikhail savored, telling that he especially liked to eat. Malashev's friends, who at one time tasted dumplings and pies, which the maniac treated, after learning more about what the dishes were stuffed with, took a long time to recover. Even his cellmates were afraid of the prisoner. In the colony, no one contacted the strong Misha, who was in the kitchen and drove carts with groceries. The cook was full and satisfied. In prison, Malashev gained about 30 kilograms of weight. Inna lived with Misha in fear for several years, she became a slave at the age of 19. He lived with a girl, and she helped cook the owner pies and dumplings. And now 56-year-old Misha is healthy and strong at home, in Perm, in an apartment on Marshall Rebelka Street. An elderly mother, an intelligent woman, like any mother, was waiting for her son, reading his letters. The tenants moved out, and the pensioner slowly brought a tool to the apartment for her son, so that the man would have something to do outside. The maniac himself has never left the apartment for all the time. His mother brings him food. Mikhail himself said that he was afraid to go free, because he was afraid that he would return to the old. Nobody knows what to expect from him now. Now the residents of the house are afraid for their children and for themselves. They try to get home faster and not walk in the evenings, because the most dangerous maniac in Perm now lives next to them. The day before, Malashev almost staged an emergency in the house. On Friday, the 4th of November, his neighbors felt a strong smell of gas in the entrance and called gas workers. Specialists who arrived at the scene found out that the leak occurred in the ogre's apartment. He did not fully turn the gas control valve. Specialists conducted a conversation with him. Now the son, who was enslaved for several years by a maniac, is unknown. 
The residents of the five-story building unanimously decided to seek through the court the relocation of Malashev somewhere far away. Moreover, activists are collecting signatures all over the city. The police, who were contacted by concerned people, explained that they would monitor Mikhail, as well as any other prisoner who was released from prison. Simply put, the cannibal must come to check in, cannot leave the city without warning and cannot drink alcohol. Only if the maniac wants to eat someone again, law enforcement officers will not have time to stop him, his neighbors say.